Welcome, everybody. Welcome. I am Rebar. This is the Solid Mud Show, and you're listening to 96.9 FM KMRD LP, Madrid, New Mexico. I want to thank an anomaly for keeping keeping Saturn spinning. Wow, folks, that's really hard. That's really hard. Well, as many of you may know, here on the Solid Mud Studios, we have developed a time machine with our mission. Well, I think we're back on our mission. I think we're getting close. There was a, there was a few distractions back there. But uh, uh, we have a time machine in order to go back to that moment in time when music was first created. I'm, I'm really curious about that. The, the anthropologist in me... Um, I, you know, I don't know why that show's not not on the Nature Channel. I, I, I really don't. But we're going to get to the bottom of it. So so we built a time machine, and we, we hired a time machine mechanic because uh, time of travel turned out to be pretty hard. Uh, Jeb Clemens, and uh, I'm not sure where he is. I don't know. I, I would have thought punctuality would have been a better trait if you had time travel. Um, apparently. Apparently that's got nothing to do with it. I mean, maybe it's just New Mexico. I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's get back to the music then and uh, see if we can. Maybe I'll hit the homing button and bring the bring the time machine back. But it's time for Rebar's favorite song of the week. Oh my goodness. I wish I. Uh, well, if we had the time machine right now, I would take it back to this show right here. Here, here are the screamers. Vertigo right here on your community radio. The Psychotic Monks A song called Crash. Ahead of that, Cricket in the Genie. That was a Claypool Lennon Delirium. Before that was Ronaldo and the Loaf, Owl Stew, Owl Stew and the Red Shoe was the name of that song, and that was from 1981, and that's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh, except for that first song. Exception for that one. The Screamers with Vertigo. Oh, boy, the Screamers. Oh. <laughs> wow, I'm telling you. If we, if we only had a time machine, I would go back to I would I would go back to that show. Oh oh, here comes the time machine now. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. Those landings Jimmy, are getting harder. Cricket. Oh my and back! Oh. Did you not have you not put the landing gear on it yet? Oh man, I, well we, I'm still trying to eat up the last of those those Lindell pillows. You know. Oh, so, gosh, oh, man, oh, they're, oh. Well, what the heck? Where are you oh, been? Oh, man? Well, man, okay, I've been out investigating the investigation for the investigating of the investigation investigating report. Oh, I know. There's, a, there's been a reporter that's been a, running around town asking a lot of questions. Yeah, yeah and uh, we still don't know who he oh, is. No. I'm trying to figure it out. You know, um, I think he's using some oh, clandestine sources. That he's asking people to ask people to ask people questions. I heard, that, I heard he's asking then, about the time machine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I'm not liking that. That's, that's the, no. you know, the, the Oh, my you know, goodness. Uh, you know how reporters are. Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't want this secret to get out, you know. It's a good thing I, nobody if, listens to the show. What you if know? he finds out I get my play, playlist just from Reddit? Or, you know, stealing it from other DJs. Well, right, well, but in that, know. too, yeah, yeah. And, oh, my you know, gosh. Um, yeah, yeah. I oh, mean, what if he does it? What if he finds out I don't really do my volunteer hours? I just sign the list. Oh, well, oh that's oh, everybody oh, knows that oh, one, Rebar. So it's not like that. That's a big deal. But oh. you know, what if he finds out that the you know the the time machine actually runs on you know it'll run on Paps just as just as well. You know the blue ribbon. You know. I, 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 well, why are we Why are we investing in all that Glenfiddich? That seventeen year old Glenfiddich. Oh. Uh, let me get you a a, a, a Glenn Finish and a and a Paps, and you you tell me. Oh, oh, oh boy, yeah, this is you know, trouble, man. This is. I mean, uh, I, I, I mean you know. What, uh, if, what if he finds out I really don't like this crap I play? I really like I really like soft rock and the and the Beach Boys was my favorite band. I mean, what if that comes out? Uh, oh, the solid much shows do. You know, dude. I know I, you know. Uh, you, you like to you like to purport yourself to be a punk. 
but you don't have any tattoos. You don't even have any piercings. You don't. I don't. You don't even own any safety safety pants. Well. Well, not since, yeah, not since Rebar Jr. has been out of diapers, but, oh, no, that's not true. I have one on my khaki cargo shorts where the button came off. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, and uh, what if they find out your favorite color is khaki? Oh, God. All right. All right. Okay. You we, know, we, no, we well, got to okay. get, we gotta get we ahead got, of this story. This you know, is, uh, yeah, this is uh, trouble. We might, we might have to dig did, up did some. You, and did you well, didn't find we, out who the reporter well, was? Well, once yet? we find out, we'll just start digging up dirt on him, and then we'll do, we'll put that out. And then, yeah. and, well, that's uh, right. Then maybe, you know. Uh, uh, all right, and, let's uh, get on it. I'm going to play okay. some more music. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll get we'll get to it. I'm going to get on the line and see if I can uh, I can dig up some more dirt on, uh, you know, dirty people who were willing to dish some dirt on on some dirty people yeah because yep. you know all those yep. dirty people hang out together and i know most of yep. them because they're my friends yep yep uh well here's uh, primus uh, 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 like you remark with mr crinkle right here on your community radio uh, is that a snack food that was psychic tv dang pen uh, Rebar, you got another pen. Have mercy. I'm trying to have pen, compile I, don't know. I think there's a jar over there by where you have to write down the, all the F-bombs that you put out on there. Oh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going near that. Uh, you know, I have nothing yeah, there's always that. a pen over there by that log. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Anyway, uh, okay. Uh, ahead of that was Chrome. Let's meet right. you in the subway. Hey, Rebar, you know this trick where you... You can... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get revive your pen. You can't do that in here, Jim. Oh, 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 sorry. So, oh, anyway, well, it worked. Uh, ahead of that were the, the, was GT with Commando 2019. That song came out. That's relatively new in the scheme of things. Yeah, and then there's... Oh, we started that set off with Primus. And, uh... Oh, I think I do have a less click on finish. I think I do. The, uh, yeah, He's got no, a big, no. big bass. No, that was Mr. Crinkle. Oh. Mr. Crinkle. I'm Rebar. Well, this is the Solid Mud Show. I need a snack. Oh, anyway. Uh, no. You're listening to 96.9 FM, KMRD LP, Madrid, New Mexico. So narrow it down. And uh, Re- Rebar, I mean, he, he, I'm Rebar. Jeb. Yeah, 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 Jeb. yeah. yeah. What, what, what's going on? Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just doing some calculations yeah. here. And I'm a, I, did you find out who the reporter was? I mean, no, there's, I a, there's an investigative I reporter that w- I, 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 I know they're trying to put a hit well, piece out on the Solid Munch You know, show. well, I've got to narrow it down to just about, uh, you know, just about everybody in town. You know, so yep. that's, that's, yep. that's, okay. uh, that, that narrows it well, down that's quite start. a bit. That does narrow it down to at least uh, everybody in town. You know, but, uh, uh-huh. and, and uh, my calculations are, are showing that we, we need to get ahead of this. this yeah, we got to do something. We you know, can't. So, no, uh, no. And, if this uh, is bad, Jeb. This and, is and, bad. You know, I, I, I think maybe we should get. Um, you know, uh, we, we need to get ahead of it. We need to get some. We need a, some kind of PR like a team. Um, but we right, don't, right, we, right, we have right. that. Uh, we don't have any money in well, the budget for that. Well, no, no we, we've got we got you know. Can uh, we use some of that? Uh, that those bags of Alito money for? Of course we can. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 I yeah. Oh, I I got it. I got it. Our intern, Chastity, our intern. Oh, that she intern. can be. A, oh, yeah. She can be our PR person. Yeah, she can. She can start putting out at least some some. Um, I mean, she was so some, good at collecting the best of for the year in show. Really, Rebar? I'm, trying to be, I'm just trying to. I'm, okay, not, I'm trying, trying not to, be, to hurt her feelings. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like her feelings can be easily hurt. Yeah. She's she's All just right. a hurt person. But All right. Well, we'll get anyway, her on it. We'll okay, get her. We'll on get it. her. We'll get yeah. her started. And in the meantime, I'm going to look into um, some of my other shady people because I got some shady people yep. who know some shady people. Oh, we people, are going to need definitely need. And we're going to need all our this. shady people. All of them. Which includes everybody in town. Okay. Well, oh, that's one interesting Venn diagram. Everybody yeah, in town. One circle. Oh, That's one. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to play some well, music. It's just one circle. There, Here, there's no Venn diagram oh there. There's no Oh, my goodness. Street. I hope you guys are going to be okay. Let me, let me see here's, here. Here's some flipper. Everybody in town and then this circle. Some called hash Everyone pipe. else in town and this circle. It just works oh, out to everybody boy. in town. Oh, my God. This is, this is, you this might is want, impossible. You might, you might want to put it on 11 for this one. Three. 
hey folks, chastity here. Now that you've got me doing on public relations or whatever. So here's a statement for you. The allegations have surfaced involving rebar prompting a need for direct communication with the public, his audience, and all relevant stakeholders. Rebar is wholeheartedly committed to the appearance of upholding the highest ethical and integrity standards. It's an image he cherishes almost as much as the actions that have led us here today. Transparency and accountability have always been aspirational goals on Rebar's horizon. Understanding the potential impact of recent events on the trust and respect he had hoped to establish, Rebar is now exploring the bounds of commitment necessary to address these concerns. The support of the community during these trying times is something Rebar fully expects. He asks for your patience, understanding, and continued generosity as he embarks on this journey of minimal self-reflection and carefully moderated change. Thank you for listening. Chastity here with more proactive nonsense, because if you can't sway the courts, you still can sway public opinion. Well, here's a good one. Reba regrets that one time he, oh my God, really. I can't say that on the radio. Your gal, Chastity here, public relations, I have. Clearly, the purpose behind stores and the concept of retail is a total mystery. Therefore, it is not unreasonable to think that Rebar could have possibly known that the jar of buds at the dispensary was supposed to be paid for before leaving. In Rebar's defense, he was really, like, really high. That was the screamers. The beat goes on. Oh my goodness, Sunny and Cher cover. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, what, what, what is it, Jeff? No, I, I, I've been, I've been, I got a hold of some of my shady friends, and, they're, and they got a hold of a couple of their shady friends, and they're yeah. sending one of their shady friends over oh, um, oh, to, to, to give us some. some oh, good, because we got we got some on, shady uh, we got some shady dealings we got to do, man, with that that exactly, reporter so, around. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got to straighten this out. We got to get the truth out. We gotta yeah. get the truth out. Yeah. I mean, I mean, oh yeah. Let me finish re- telling you who we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, before that, before the screamers, the adolescents with democracy. And that was Henry Cow. Song called War. Oh, that was a lot of songs, but these were all like really short punk rock songs. Uh, and then there was a public image with Betty Page. Oh, that was brand new, and brand new meaning, you know, less than four years old from uh, public image. Crazy, huh? Oh, then it was Black Flag with Louie Louie. And Flipper started us off with Hash Pipe. Yeah, 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 hey, yeah, 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 yeah. What, what's what's oh, the commo- oh, 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 yeah, yeah, oh, oh. oh. Are, 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 oh yeah, 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 yeah! Come on, come on in, yeah. Oh, he, yeah, you look, he, he looks pretty shady. Oh, there, 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 oh I think this is a shady friend that, oh, uh, my shady friends have sent over. Oh, uh, hey, they, you know, uh, hey, Jeb, I think you're right about your your character assessment, but this is this is this is Jimmy tomorrow, man. Jimmy tomorrow. This Jimmy, is Jimmy tomorrow. He's uh, Jimmy. He, that yeah. sounds that sounds pretty shady to oh, me. Oh my yeah. goodness, no, Jimmy tomorrow is a uh, okay. He's a punk rock legend. Right, uh, right, right, Jimmy. Uh, well, I think he's an investigative reporter, but uh, he's not, he's not. He looks uh, kind of clean cut, shady. I, I don't know about that. So, uh, well, you know that tour bus will take a lot off. Uh, man. Well, all right. Well, I'm going to do some research on you know, yeah. the. The, our yeah, new no, no, shady no. brown and make sure that Jimmy tomorrow. No, Jimmy's here to talk about some music, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Well, well, here to we, investigate anybody. I don't buy it, but I'm 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 gonna go investigate you uh, as an investigator, investigating, investigating reporter. I believe in research. Do your research. Uh, Okay, Uh, if you're legit, then we got no problems. But uh, if I find anything shady, 
I'm legit. Well, I just overdressed for the radio tonight. That's all. Uh, 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 oh, don't we all? Don't we all? Yeah. Man, he's bad as Kellyanne yeah. when she came on. You know, uh, well, it's like no cameras. Right, oh, hey, that was hey, Lauren Bobert. Jeb, okay. Jeb, go go do your do do your time machine fuel uh, inventory. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, that's uh, oh that one. Well, but Jeb, sure I'd like to that. talk to you about the time machine a little bit when, you know, when we have a chance. If if we have a chance. Well. uh... Jimmy tomorrow. Part of, are you, uh, it's part of the thing that I do, man. Uh, it's like, uh, you got a time machine? What's tomorrow like? Well, we can talk about that. Uh, I have a lot of questions for you yeah, as well. Maybe, maybe tomorrow yeah, we'll talk about maybe that. Maybe tomorrow. I, I got some things I want to talk tomorrow about tonight. Never, yeah. So, all right, uh, fine, Jeff, fine. Jeff, you guys, you guys Jeff, do your, close your, the door your... to the studio behind you, please. Okay, Thank you. Fine. Thank you. Please. <laughs> Wow! 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 I'm, I'm, wow. I'm really here with Jimmy tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, it warms my heart to hear the screamers. Oh, aren't they oh, good? Aren't they good? I, I feel like I'm I'm back, and my friends in Southern California would know that. Um, I feel like I'm back at the Rodney Bigenheimer show in uh, 1977 or thereabouts. Yeah. Wow, the punk scene was just something yeah. something amazing then, huh? I, I th well, yeah, and it, well, I think it was, but it was short lived. And the Screamers, to me, was the best L.A. band, well, unrecorded L.A. band ever. Yeah, nobody knows about them. Nobody knows nobody, about them. Nobody, nobody. Yeah, only and you guys, you guys just heard a song, man. Yeah, a couple. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, treat yourself. Yeah, well, uh, so, Jimmy, you were, you were right straight out of that punk scene back then, right? So tell me a little bit about that. Um, yeah, uh, Southern California punk scene. Early on, seven, what was seven, your first band? What was your first band? First band was the Membranes, but it was um, you know it didn't go far. Uh huh. And then that still in Mom's basement, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then that um, that became a band that I can't say on radio after that. And then that band changed its name to The Outsiders. The Outsiders. The Outsiders. Uh huh. Yeah. So we could get some radio play, and they could actually put our name on the marquee, and we could be on flyers. You know, that, yes, you know? I, I, you know, being part of radio. Um, yeah, there's you rules. Got, there's rules. There's rules. <laughs> and we tried to break them there's all. But, we, you know. Well, at least bend them. Yeah. At least bend them. Yeah, exactly. The slow curve. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, tell me, how did the how did the band come together? How did how did that happen? So the membranes. Uh, <laughs> how the many membranes. of the membranes were part of the part of the outsiders? Uh, two. Me and my drummer, uh, Dave Stewart, who's uh, still with us, and. Uh, was with Dave in about three different bands, and uh, I still think he's the greatest drummer on earth. So shout out to Dave Stewart. And then we merged with um, Frank Rufino, Corey Stretz, Mike Drake. Um, and you had an alias back then, I understand. I, I did have an alias. I've changed uh, many times from the, uh, you know... Uh, the God-given name. Yeah, from but Jimmy tomorrow to Jimmy yesterday. To it went back. <laughs> it went back a few generations. Yeah. 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 So, so, to so Don, Don Gross from the from, from the, the outsiders. outsiders. Yeah. yeah. You Donnie, the, Donnie Gross. Donnie from the Gross. Outsiders. Okay. Yeah. The, the front man for the outsiders. I was the front man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, we were we were called something else, and um, it was an F word. It was an F word. But um, I think a carefully placed F word is appropriate now and again, and I just went with it. So okay. that was that. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, it was all part of that fusion. I came out of rock and roll high school, Edison High School, which, you know, a lot of different bands out of that area came out of, uh, including Stone Temple Pilots, you know, uh, Scott Whalen and many others uh -huh. who are not as well known as that. But, um, yeah, it was quite a hub back in the day, you know. Um, and that kind of moved up the coast, Huntington Beach to Hermosa Beach to, you know, L.A., downtown proper to the Valley and, and that whole scene. But it wasn't like New York or London. It didn't get out um, in its provincial settings. You had to kind of be there at the time in that setting to really right. take it all in. Um, so it was kind of incestuous. So the Outsiders uh -huh. moved on after about three years. And out of that came uh, China White, The Blades, and several other bands, you know, spinoffs yep. of that. Yeah. Yeah. And then I headed north to San Francisco, the Bay Area. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> and that was a whole different journey. Yes, it was. Yeah. Well, tell you what, why don't we why don't we play a track of the Outsiders? I'd love to hear it. Let's uh, and then and then we'll check back in. Absolutely. Um, what do you got? Well, here's Government Cloud, the Government the Cloud. title title track off title the track. off the the one and only album, right? That's it, one yeah. and only.
Yeah. One and done. Is there is there a surviving vinyl copy anywhere? There are. Is it is it maybe here on the shelf here at KMRD, maybe? I hope you guys have it here, but if not, you can get it through Artifix Records. Oh, okay. Artifix Records. Okay. They handle all that. Well, nice. All right. Well, let's take a look. So what year is this? This would be recorded probably in 1979. 79. And you wrote the song. This is I did. You, you wrote this one? Instead and, of going uh, to high school class, I would write music. And this is one of them. Oh, okay. So you flunked out. I did. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, well, well for, for a good reason. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, let's take a listen. Here we go, folks. Wow, so that was that was the outsiders with with government cloud. And I, I'm here in the studio with Jimmy Tomorrow. Government cloud. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or originator of the outsiders. That um that was that was actually recorded on four track reel to reel by Keith Taylor, who was either the brother or the cousin of Keith, of uh, James Taylor. I never got the story straight. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Funny enough. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I've been doing some research here on you, uh, you, you Jimmy tomorrow, and uh, you weren't part of that, 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 uh, like the Velvet Underground, you know, uh, anarchist group, were you? You know that that went around uh, like uh, wearing um, like plush velvet um, uh, uh, and, and beating up old ladies, right? Velvet cake, yes. Velvet Underground, no. No. Oh, okay. No. I, I, no, that I, I, wasn't I, me. Okay. I, 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 okay. Yeah, your, your research is wrong, Jim. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. No, I, I'm, I'm going back. Google to the that. Go back, go back to the library. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. So, wow. So tell me what that punk scene. Wow. I mean, that was when punk was punk. That I was mean, that punk was, was punk. it. Right? The pogo was alive and, um, you know, happening. Uh, and it was good fun. I, I, I really look at those years from like 77 to about 81. Um, in the punk rock scene. And after that, it became something completely different. And that's when I sort of bowed out. Um, I think that, uh, you know, some of the crossover, the wide open variety, you just never knew what you, when you went into a club, you just never knew what you're going to see, whether it was the germ. I saw one night, I saw the Dead Kennedys, uh, the germs, which makes sense, well, uh -huh, uh -huh. but w with the Go Go's at the mass there was this little club that moved around and you you knew only through word of mouth where it was going to be from one week to the next oh wow but that's how it would yeah. go you know yeah so there was all that 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 space that um of creativity when the screamers were part of it i mean there was no other synth band only oh that's crazy the screamers punk punk rock with no guitars no man. guitars two two a drummer and two synths and, and the front man yeah. wow I still see Tomato do plenty, you know. I mean, he died well, a couple decades ago, but you know, as a front man, there wasn't anything more captivating than, than Tomato do plenty. Yeah, got it. folks, something. folks, please go go try and find if you can uh, of Screamers video. It's it is it is off the I, I it's indescribable. Yeah, so you have to go do it yourself. Yeah, you have to do. It I'm yourself. glad there's something that they captured because they never recorded an album, um, but I know that there's stuff on YouTube. I know there's stuff that's been archived. But it's not easy to find. But uh, it, it's out there, you know. Thank goodness. Well, they're, wow. they're a gem. They're yeah. A gem. Well, all right. Well, let's. Uh, wow. Well, let's play some, some more outsider songs. What do you think? Absolutely. Man. Yeah. It's good to hear this stuff. Yeah, man. Here's here's Vidiot Savant. You want you want to introduce this song? Anything well, about this? Was it? a uh, on the on the album they took a um, you know the original 1979 uh, master tape. And that's half the album. And then the other half of the album was when we got back together after about 28 years of not seeing each other and laid down the other half of the album, which was um, with uh, all the original members. And uh, we put it together in 2010. So Idiot Savant was part of the newer uh, recording that we did in 2010. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that would be, I guess, the B-side or whatever. Um, oh well, tell me a little bit. You were you were mentioning how how the album got repressed, uh, or what's that story? Well, uh, yeah, we we got back together, and um, it was um, it again. It was short lived. Back in I think 2007 to about 2010, 2011, um, did this recording and um, wrote new songs for it, and found out that um, you know we just really liked each other and we worked really well together. And by that time, we had gone separate ways and then reconvened and um, made this recording. So 
I'm, I'm pretty happy with both sides of it. It's good to hear the 1979 version of The Outsiders. It's good to hear the 2010 uh, version. And it was the last thing that we got to record with Frank Rafino, who's no longer with us. Um, so... Well, we're right on. Well, let's hear it. Yeah, please. Let's hear it. Absolutely. Here we go, folks. Oh, my goodness. You're listening to 96.9 FM, KMRD, LP, Madrid, New Mexico. And this is community radio, folks. This is what you get. Chastity here, back with more tea in an era where time is more flexible than ever, which I may have been a tad enthusiastic in exploring the limitless bounds of temporal navigation, occasionally overlooking the quaint guidelines set by the time authority. But who among us, given the chance, wouldn't leap at the opportunity to redo a less than perfect haircut? All right, that was the Outsiders with a new disorder. And then ahead of that was another Outsiders song, Video Savant. And I'm here in studio with with Jimmy Tomorrow, original member of the Outsiders. Yes, right indeed. On. Wow, so here. that was... Wow, that was a... That, I wish we had a time machine, man. We'd be there. Well, you, We'd be I, there. I hear you do. <laughs> oh. Um, oh. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's you know, my bad. Uh, my bad. You, 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 we had you signed the non-disclosure I agreement know, already. I know. Oh I didn't know God. what I was signing. I forgot my glasses. Oh, man. I know. I'm that old. Not even, not even three minutes into the I'm interview. Sorry. And it's, I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so is this an interview? I so that was back in the day, man. That was, was back in the day. That was like a long time ago. Yeah. Like before most people are, were born that are listening to the show. Sadly, yeah. Uh, so what are you doing now, Jimmy? I understand you are a new community member as well. I am. Um, I'm a transplant. I just uh, left the rainy state of Washington to come here to get some dry sunshine uh-huh. about nine months ago. Yeah. Well, yeah. we got the dust. You do. We got it. I, I've got plenty of it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can share. Yeah. <laughs> plenty of dust, no uh-huh. water. It's actually a, a blessed relief, actually, to be here. I love it. Love yeah. Madrid. Love the community. Yeah. Super happy to be here. So you didn't break down like the rest of us? I did not. No, I came out You chose. You chose to be here. I chose to come out Oh, wow. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have had breakdowns, but not here. Not Not yet. Not yet. Oh, they're they're coming. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Wow. Um, Well, 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 welcome. Welcome. Thank you. uh, Thank you. And um, so, so musically... Mm-hmm. What, what, what are you doing? What are you doing now? You've you've moved on from the punk scene, I've and moved now, on, yeah, now yeah. you're it's it's soft rock and Beach Boys covers, pretty much, man. Okay, Pet nice, sounds. You're right on. I mean, no, yeah. oh, that doesn't work for the solid mushroom. Sorry, yeah, but, no, I um, it, punk rock doesn't age all that well. Five, four, three, <laughs> uh-huh. That what you heard. <laughs> well, I don't know. Some of us are still around. We're still around. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm. I'm mostly playing. Uh, you know, uh, I, I call it American roots. You know, blues, rock and roll, uh-huh. folk, country. Uh-huh. Love country. Been really writing a lot. Well, that's of it. We still want to play punk rock, but we just want to yeah. sit down now. Yeah. We just want to sit down while we do it. I just it. want to sit down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> take the load off. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. Well, nice. Well, you, you, I see you got your guitar. Uh, I have a guitar. You want to you wanna play us something? What do you want to do? I'll play you something. Um, by the way, this is a 1948 Harmony Patrician Archtop guitar. Oh, for which, those of you that can't see it. It's, uh, uh-huh. it's a lovely thing that I picked up uh, decades ago. That I write songs on this. Nice aged tan color. Aged yeah, almost, is a good almost, way to put almost it. Almost khaki. Yeah, almost khaki. Uh-huh. There you go. Uh-huh. Well worn. <laughs> yeah, this girl's been around. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'd be glad to play a song. Should I just launch into it? No, let's, you, let's go. You got the mics let's and go. everything going? Okay. Let's, see. let's hear it. Let's Close see. enough for government work, that tuning, right? How's that? Wow. Well, wow, that was that was the Reverend. I'm sorry, I didn't. I don't think I introduced you correctly. That was the Reverend Jimmy tomorrow. That's right, everybody. I pay my fifteen dollars. Oh, right. I deserve yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. You get get the title, man. That's right. Get the title. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Rebar, 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 is everything okay in here? I I, I, I thought you were being attacked by a cat. 
<laughs> are you okay? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Oh, oh, oh okay. all right. Uh, uh, I, I do have a little bit of cat scratch fever, but okay. I'm okay. Uh, okay, I, I'm, I'll be right back. I'm going back to yeah. my research. Yeah, are you please. please. Uh, right. yeah. No, we're not. Uh, we're not. We're not. Okay, we're not. <laughs> what? He likes guns. Yes, he does. <laughs> Wow, well, well, tell me about what, what was that song? What did uh, you just play? That was called Better Hold On. And um, these are songs that I've been uh, recording, you know, ever since the pandemic. And I was, uh, I don't even know how to describe, but, uh, you know, I think Joni Mitchell said it best in an interview when they asked her, you know, where do your songs come from? And she says, I don't know. I was glad they come. And um, a lot of the songs I've written in the last four or five years have um, been those kinds of uh, things that come in the middle of the night. I'll wake up and then the song will just be there. I'll play it out and maybe record it on my phone so I don't forget it the next morning and, yep. you know, uh, ca try to capture the lightning in the bottle or from some kind of dream state or whatever. But, um, yeah, I've been getting kind of like uh, almost premonitions through the songwriting process lately. You know, it's very different from how I used to write songs. Oh, uh, 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 tell me a little more about that because I know a little bit about writing. And, uh, and yeah, you, you kind of have to be open for the idea. Absolutely. You know, I yeah. mean, because they come and they come and they come. They and come like, when they come. They and, do. and you got to you got to recognize it. Yeah. And yeah. It, and, and exactly that. And I, you know, through the process, and I think a lot of it had to do with, um, well, what I'm doing out here, I'm building my own house. And, um, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, but I've been doing it for about 20 years. And I find that through, you know, uh, being an artist, being a musician, and now getting your hands dirty with, um, you know, real materials like concrete and what have you. Um, when you're living in the structure, and that's part of it, I've been living in these structures that I've been making for the last uh, six years or so. Um, it, it does something to the mind and the intuitive process of the dream state or however it comes. But I know that it's opened up this whole different portal of creativity for me. Yeah. And um, thank oh, goodness, wow. you know. Well, you know, I think that's why a lot of us are drawn here to New Mexico. Yeah. Um, and I don't even know what it is, but right. it's that. Yeah. It's that creative spirit and the landscape. Right. And the symbiosis of it all. Mm -hmm. That's, it. Uh, That's yeah. it. I knew as soon yeah. as I came here, I mean, I've probably been scouting this place out for the last uh, six or seven years before I moved here. And I, you just feel it. There's, there's nothing I can put to words. It's just a feeling. Yeah. Uh-huh. Agreed. Land of Agreed, enchantment. Yeah. Well titled. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, all right. Well, uh, you want to play something live or you want to play one of your recorded ones? What do you want to do? I could do it either way. I'd, like to, play, I'd like to play an old Woody Guthrie song. Oh, let's do it. Let's and do it. I could do it live. Or we, I've, I know you got the recording of it. So you tell no, me. Do it live. Let's do, do it live. live. It's sounding good. Okay. Let's go. All right. Reverend Jimmy tomorrow, right here on your community radio. Yeah. Okay. Well, this one's called Blood of the Lamb. And it's a uh, from the Dust Bowl period, 1930s, Woody Guthrie. And uh, one of my favorite tunes. If I could write a song half this good, I'd be happy. Wow, that was beautiful. Thank you. That was beautiful. That is a lovely song. Wow. Folks, folks, you are blessed that we have the Reverend Jimmy tomorrow here uh, playing in our open mic nights at the bar. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So nice to be here. <laughs> no, it really is. Nice to be here with you guys. And nice to be here in Madrid. Nice to be here in New Mexico. Love it. Love it to death. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wonderful. Hmm. All right. You got anything else you want to tell us, Reverend? <laughs> About the uh, investigation? <laughs> the time machine? What's it look like tomorrow? Oh, wow. All tomorrow right. never right, knows. Right, right, right. Oh, I, 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 goodness, I, he's I, back. I, I, he's back. I, 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 found some, I found some incriminating evidence that, uh, well, uh, that you're probably... Um, Oh, uh, you're, 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 I, I found no evidence of you online until about like, oh, maybe two, three weeks ago. Um, I, and, uh, your whole background looks really shady. Uh, shady, shady. And, 
Yeah. Uh, and 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 uh, the created and um, I think you might be another. Um, is he Russian plant? Uh, Jap- is he a Russian uh, plant? Uh, I'm just a visitor. He's another Japanese AI robot a clone. That, oh, not another. Oh, we had one on last you week know, too. And, oh my uh, goodness. Uh, I, I might need to, need to take a look at their guitar. I think it's bugged. <laughs> uh, and uh, you know, um, you, you know, Jimmy tomorrow. Uh, Where would you put so, it? Uh, well, it obviously doesn't have a, a, a pickup on no, it, but no. so uh, but, you know there there is uh, the factor that okay, Jimmy tomorrow, right, 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 yeah, yeah, Jimmy tomorrow, yes sir, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. yeah, yeah, so the uh, Reverend, uh, uh, oh, oh, so uh, you, you realize that uh, uh, Jesus is a resident of Madrid, and we can double check on is he? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, really? and yeah, oh. yeah, he lives here. And, yeah. uh-huh. and uh, uh, we can we can double check on that. Uh, and he's the, like the only person in town that I trust. That's n- he's, not shady. He's pretty trustworthy. But I uh, then again, I did get it from my sources mm-hmm. that uh, they were sending over somebody shady to look for stuff for us. And uh, well, yeah, you were the guy they sent. I over. like the shade. Especially out here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, oh, yeah. You're shade is good. Yeah, you're brand new here. Yeah, you're going to need to the camo the nanny better. over the... Yeah. You're, getting, <laughs> oh you're getting off the point here, you know? Hey, I want to play some more music. Oh, I've got some... Oh, I got some... I, got, I found a Reverend, Reverend uh, Jimmy Tomorrow song on the internet. Did you know? Yeah, yeah I bet it was yeah. put up as a plant about about a week and a half ago, wasn't it? It just didn't really exist. I mean, how long has it been there? I mean, yeah, how many views has it had? I don't know. I just listened to it. Here, here, and you can listen to it, too. Oh, tell me about the devil's shiny shoes. The devil's shiny shoes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm sure Jesus will be really happy to hear about devil's shiny shoes. That oh, you, yeah. You, you know, might be in a little trouble. But you know, tell me. Uh, Go ahead. What, are you like Dorothy? Um, well, he has dirty shoes, shiny shoes. He has all kinds. Of, he has quite a shoe collection. The Satan uh, shoe I, fetish. I don't think the devil wears Prada. I think he wears floor shine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, uh-huh. personally. Now, uh-huh. And when they're, they're shiny. Big, big he, keeps them, uh, big he, keep, he keeps them shiny. <laughs> floor shine shoes. All right. all right, well, here's the devil oh, shiny okay. shoes right here by the all Reverend right. Reverend Jimmy tomorrow. All right, well, you play this song. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remember the zombie interrogation remark. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. We're gonna one. get okay. to the bottom of this. All right. Well, I hope it turns uh, out better than that last one. But I hope you don't have as many holes in you that that zombie did. Hey, listeners, Chastity again. Okay, so it is completely reasonable to assume that Jeb wasn't aware that the money at the bank was not free to take. I mean, look at him seriously. Do you think this guy has object permanence, let alone the ability to grasp the abstract concept of money? All right, Jimmy, tomorrow you're... uh, uh, Come on, uh, tell me, are you... uh, Come on, who's the reporter? You know who he is. Come on. Uh, okay, the thumb screws are. Thumb screws on the. Oh, they're, work, they're, they're more painful on the toes over here. Oh, come on, yeah. Who is this guy? They all go a little bit tighter. Oh, man, I wish we still had the black sight. Oh, no. Oh, okay. It's chastity again. Do you feel engaged? So Jeb now understands that, quote, switching banks does not relieve him of the burden of paying off loans. Stay tuned for more helpful tips that are totally high key. Jimmy Tamara guy's getting us distracted. I mean, I mean well, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, it's like he thinks I, I, he, it's like Jimmy today or something. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, he's bringing us in uh, tomorrow. Is like anyway. Uh, I, 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 you made me. me it's like I've been looking all over. Man, I haven't slept. I and I haven't slept in hours. You know, um, I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I've been looking all over. Hey, Jeb, I know, I know. I'm getting a little distracted too. Uh, I, 
forgot to back announce the songs we just oh, heard. God. Okay, I'm going to keep looking for uh, blogs. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, I, I got to do this. I got It's 96.9 FM, KMRD LP, Madrid, New Mexico. It's all over here. I'm Rebar, Solid Mud Show. And, uh, oh my goodness, there's a reporter in town that's like oh, digging man. up dirt. It's got Not us all distracted. Oh. oh, well, that was the residence and, and Ronaldo in the loaf. Oh, there's one. I found a bug. What, I what? missed him. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. Okay. They're spying on us with robot bugs. Oh, oh my God. They are. They're, 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 they're Did listening. Did you hear that static? That's, that's them. I know. I think I think people are listening to us, Jeb. What was that? No, 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 Jeb, that was, I think people might be listening to us. I don't. I, 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 I hope not. You know. Well. Uh, we, yeah, well. Man, you know. Uh, your your mom I mean, your mom we, okay, does your mom still listen? No, she doesn't. Okay, no. well then then nobody's listening. Okay. So, so right. another one. I missed it. Oh, I think I think we heard Tuxedo Moon up, up ahead of that with Desire, uh, getting a little distracted. And it was ca- ca- Cabaret Voltaire. Uh, Rebar, I'm, I'm with I'm Nag Nag some, Nag. I'm seeing somebody with a flashlight outside the window and, out there. And then there was Red Crayola with. Transparent radiation. Is that E Mac showing up already? Oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. no, 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 no. Um, no, See, no, no. Uh, look, 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 look. No, look. I do, I do. There, I, I think there, there's, uh, there's people listening, Jim. I, uh, I can, I can tell. Uh, well, uh, I, I, there's, there's bugs in. I think that's a camera up there, Rebar. I think somebody what? planted a camera up. Uh, what? the great place. Oh, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we, 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 we got to search the station. We got to, we got to wash this place down. Here's, here's uh, right now. Here's okay, Cab- uh, Cabaret uh, Voltaire. Uh, hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Noir, are you still here? Uh, you got some, you got some. Oh, that's right. I got him. Uh, uh, he's cable tied up in the back. Uh, 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 he may not be so willing to help. Chastity here with more extra cringe. Brian Sanford is a clone from the Japanese farm. Big yikes. Jeb, if I read the rest of this one, you go and get another visit from Mr. Sanford's lawyer. Chastity here, otherwise known as the solid, much shows new strategic partner for public relations. Okay, um, Jeb wants to explain why he was at the, um, at the, I don't know what that means. I don't think that's spelled right. Chastity here. This one is pretty sus. Jeb feels it is the burden of the cops to prove that the, um, two animals did not provide consent. No, cat. this is so sus. I have no idea why I agreed to do this. Jim, what are you right doing? Inside the corner. Oh, what, what are you uh, doing, man? Look, look, we're gonna have to cover this whole room in black spray oh, paint. Jimmy, Jimmy, no, no, oh, down, the, down the seam now there. Okay, now anyway, oh uh, no, we're we're, oh we're I'm, just, I'm just covering all the bases and we're, we're covering all the windows. Oh, we're spray yeah. paint everything. Uh, and, and you know, uh, uh hey, we're hey, finding hey, bugs. Jeff, we're Jeff, finding Jeff. microphones. We're finding. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So why, why are you spray painting everything? I mean, what you? Like, we're we're coming up all the lenses, all the microphones, all the Jimmy over. Oh, oh man, man, Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, here's, here's a microphone. Uh, here's a microphone. Oh, no one is listening to that one anyway. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, up there, Jim, Jim, right, Jim. Right, uh, all right, all right. I got to do the backtrack. Uh, okay. Uh, what, what, uh, okay. So, so Jim, uh, 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 see, see, uh, uh, here, here's some tape. You know, tape off of that. Uh, uh, that, that, that over there. Listening to ninety six point nine FM. Uh, uh, um, that's Magic, not, not what I meant. I mean, like uh, along the seam, along the seam. Oh my goodness, you just because all the, the rest of it. Well, you know. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, One hundred and twenty-two hours of fear. Uh, I, 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 Jim, Jimmy, are you still with me? You're, hey, are you still with me? Come lines. on, uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm almost, I've got this kind of wall covered. Don't we? Jeb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great job, yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going as fast as I can. No, okay. I'm okay. Yeah, I, I'm, then we yeah. heard the swans I, with I, "Love Will Save You." Uh, I'm really going as fast as I can. I, do you want me to take those unscrew screws off your yes, toes? Oh, yes, I do. No, well, the, we, we started I, that set off with the with 
Cabaret Voltaire and, and Cracktown. No, I, I, you know, I, I promised I'd let you go if, if, you know, you just deal. You help me, help me clear this room. You know, the deal. And, and as an investigative reporter, right. like right, I know I'm you gonna, are, I've got a community uh, announcement here. You since, know, since I know you know about where, radio. where this stuff is stashed. Where, 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 where did you hide them? I, I just came here as a guest. Uh, oh, no, no, there's no, a star I, party. I, I, I'm not the. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's, that's okay. Experience the night sky above uh, the Rio Hill help, State you Park. Know, and I'll, I'll let you go as soon as we're done. Okay, I appreciate that. Take in views of star clusters, nebulae, distant galaxies, and Jupiter. Oh, a nice way to get along that seam. Like well, what about Saturn? I mean, an anomaly. No, no. She, she, she does the spinning and, Saturn. Uh, that's that's the, not are, listed uh, on here. Oh man, uh, get along that cock oh. around the window. Yeah, yeah, right. The there. park telescope will Get's be up. set up at the vault toilet they, they, lot they those for micro, viewing micro on Friday, March eighth. Robots. In, I mean, in that's, the, during, the that's during the Solid Month show. You know, they're like the size of a. Up, like, of a, of a, of a Meet just right. beyond the main park entrance at the end. You know about all that, though, but, you know. Of the parking lot off reporter. County Road 59. Just admit it, you know. I, it's I, half I'll, a mile north of Cerritos Villa. Uh, Jim, are you still with me? I, I just came here to play some music, guys. Yeah, uh, Jim, anyway, are you, That's all. Okay. The, the program starts at 730 okay, well, on Friday, March 8th. So yeah. here, you, here, you, you probably get, don't want to go there. That, you you, that, you that, probably want to stay home and listen. Cable tie off your piece. That will help you move motion. around a little bit more. You're, I appreciate you're doing really good. Like, that does feel better. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, but I, 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 I still gotta keep you chained to the wall there. Hey, you know? Jeb, are you done? Look, you spray Look. painted the whole window black. Uh, yeah. Oh, of course. My goodness. Oh. oh. Hey. All right. All right. I'm just gonna uh, play uh, some music. Jimmy. And Jimmy, I'm gonna order. I'm gonna order some um, some paint thinner. You still? Here, here's hot water music. Uh, Rebar, I think we might have lost Jimmy to the fumes. Burned forever. It, it uh, does smell in here, I must say. Chastity here, back with another statement from the Solid Mud Show. This one is weirder than most. It starts with an excited hashtag, then slash USR slash Ben slash bash, and then hashtag brute force password attack on SantaFeNewMexican.com by Jeff Clemens. I know, super weird, right? Chastity here, getting so far ahead of the story. Rebar's recent contribution in enhancing the soil level and in our own KMR station was simply an inadvertent step towards invigorating the local ecosystem. In an era where innovation is celebrated, Rebar's extensive use of station resources for his personal side projects could be seen as a testament to his unyielding commitment to creativity. You may have treated the limited, precious, and strictly regulated time travel dilation windows with the same casual disregard one might reserve for alcohol or bean burritos. But who among us has an ear to stretch the confines of overbearing temporal laws? The app's approach to time regulations has always been about thinking outside the box, sometimes so far outside that you forgot where the box was. But isn't progress about challenging the status quo? 